Abby and Brittany Hensel's anatomy is a remarkable blend of shared and individual organs and tissues. The twins each have their own distinct upper body systems. Abby and Brittany have two heads, two brains, two spinal cords, and two hearts. Let's talk about the amazing anatomy of Abby and Brittany Hensel and dicephalic parapagus twins. Two brains, two spinal cords, but only two arms, one pelvis, and two legs? How does that work? In terms of their neuroanatomy, this is fascinating. This is how their skeletal system is arranged where they have two skulls, two complete spines that join at the coccyx or the tailbone, one pelvis, two arms, and two legs. They shared this video on their social media a few days ago explaining their complex anatomy. And it's left people with, well, a lot of questions. There's even some rumors that they may have a baby on the way. I do wanna point out that the video that was posted is slightly anatomically incorrect because it shows the spines fusing at the thoracic area when in fact, theirs fuses at the sacrum slash coccyx area, kind of like this. Abby controls the right side of their body and Brittany controls the left. Their movements are highly coordinated and are in sync due to their highly coordinated brains. Our brain over time develops certain movement patterns like walking, driving, or washing dishes. And so for them, it requires the communication between both brains and both spinal cords. In terms of sensation, Brittany can feel the left side of their body and Abby feels the right. But because they have two stomachs, they feel hunger and satiety completely different. Now these pregnancy rumors have sparked up some very interesting questions. A lot of inquiring minds because of this wanna know what their feelings is during sex and well, that's between the three of them. I do wanna say that these are indeed rumors because it has not been confirmed, but it is fascinating to think, how would that work? Would they need two epidurals? They share one pelvis and one set of reproductive organs, which means that their feeling within these organs is likely shared as well. The uterus is innervated by both parasympathetic and our sympathetic nervous system. Since the sympathetic fibers are usually from T12 to L1, that means Brittany and Abby have separate components to that. But the parasympathetic innervation and the vaginal innervation is from S2 to S4. That's the regions where their spines interconnect, so it's not clear if those nerves are shared or separate. So one would assume that if they are indeed pregnant, that their feelings from this pregnancy and delivery would be shared. So if they did have a vaginal delivery, they probably would each need their own epidural. If they are indeed pregnant, I will say that they will likely not have any type of epidural because they have both had scoliosis surgery at the age of 12 to help straighten their spine and expand their rib cage. And just because of the complexity in general, they would likely have a scheduled C-section. Their anatomical complexity is extremely fascinating and no matter what the truth to the rumors are, I wish them only the best.